Greeting studio for families. Um, I was hoping I would have the newsletter out this week, but next week I promise that I will. The website is this close to having like all the functioning pieces at least up and working. So I'm sure I will tweak it a lot after that, but um, websites are not my gift. I guess they're a little bit more complicated than I thought. So anyway, just wanted to update you on a few things. With the iReady diagnostics that we took last week, we need to continue working on math facts. That's the main thing. I will let you know that Mrs. Nadu and I were shocked at how hard, 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 hard the math was. Um, there were just so many questions on things that the kids have never had, and they were not even fourth grade standards. These were just hard, hard questions. So that the kids showed any growth at all was just shocking, but they worked so hard. The kids really, really applied themselves. So we were really proud of them on that. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. On the iReady reading, we don't know what you were feeding these kids or what you did over their break, but they knocked it out of the ballpark. We were so proud of them and you should have seen them. They were just beaming when they were showing us their scores. They were so excited. So um, keep it up guys. We are so proud of you and just all of your efforts. They just, they were, they were great. So we're going to continue. Um, We've been focusing figurative language they're doing so well on. And then um, we're reading The Unteachables and um, really doing a character study and motivation and point of view and um, clues that characters give in books. Um, so and they're, I think they're really enjoying it. So we're going to be digging more into that. We're also doing more diff more with different sites and um, different grammar skills that the kids need. So we're going to continue with that and adding that on this week. And then in math, we're going to just hit it this week if we can, and then we really need to move on to division. But we're going to review um, two by one multiplication, and then three by one multiplication, and then two by two multiplication. So we don't, it doesn't matter which formula or which um, algorithm the kids use. If they want to do traditional, like we all learned, that's fine. If they want to use the area method with the boxes and break it apart, that's fine also. But we just need them to understand how to do it and to be able to do it. And really, it's it's not the process that they're struggling with. It's when they're slowing down with their multiplication facts. Because when they're stopping to think, oh gosh, what is now? Okay, six times seven. That's where they're getting stuck. And so we need them to keep working on that. We know they had the longest spring break ever and it kind of slowed them down because they did have their math facts, we're told, um, from third grade before that. So we've got to just, they've got to have it because that's it's just going to slow them down because once we move into division, it's going to go faster and then we hit um, fractions and then decimals. And they're really so integrated and they're so related. So everything is based on multiplication facts. So if you can help out with that, that would be great. We're also going to be placing them into little groups where um, they're going to help each other. They're going to be strong together and really reinforce each other. So keep looking for that. And this Friday, we're really excited and we know that they had a challenge this weekend to go out and try to find any wildlife tracks that they could. And if they couldn't, that was fine. We just wanted to give them kind of a little tease and, and let them see what was coming up. But this Friday, we have a build that's coming up that... Um, it's pretty cool. Actually, it's one of the coolest builds that we do this year. And normally we would have all of you in and invite you in because it really does take all hands on deck because we've got wild critters and um, lots of squiggly things and um, they can get away from us. And the kids are kind of, some kids love it. Some kids are like, eh, not so much. But um, since we can't do that, we did ask if we can have some of the siblings come in that are already A plus tutors or that are, are attending high school anyway. And we did get permission for that. So we're so thankful. We've got some A plus tutors already and some of the siblings are going to be coming in and helping out this Friday to do this um, build. We don't want to give it away yet. And we know that some of the siblings already know because they said, oh, that was their favorite thing that they did in fourth grade. So it does have to do with ecosystems and habitats. And that's what we're going to be looking that, at that around the school and then there will be a project that we're going to do and study. Um, we used to do a zoo habitat and we have in the past but we're not going to the zoo and to just redesign a habitat 
at the zoo that we're really not ever going to enact or they're not going to enact, um, we thought we would go a different direction this year and do something that perhaps that we could. So stay tuned for that. We're, we think that that's pretty great. So we have those things coming up. The other thing that we're looking at is the um, social and emotional learning. And Mrs. Starnes does a lot of that. And then the kids just took that survey on Thrively. And it would be kind of fun if you did it too. But just to see how to play to their strengths. And we all have areas for growth. And we all will our entire lives. And that doesn't mean you don't work on those. But it's fun because kids didn't... They don't know to play to their strengths or to look for those. They're always finding fault, I guess, with I'm not good at this or I'm not good at that. So we're looking at what are you good at? Well, how does that apply then? Or how, what will you need? So we're gonna take the things that they like to and the things that maybe even they struggle with and say, well, how does that apply? How can you use that? You wanna be an engineer, you wanna look at that. Well, you're gonna need math skills. So how, so you're gonna need multiplication or whatever. And then we're going to um, just um, kind of graph it out and look at that and share that and so go. So when we're working through problems or working on a certain topic, we can say, wow, Remember when we looked at this in your problem solving skills, that's how this plays out. So we can get a better overview and start talking to our strengths and really building into those. And, and um, just look at our strengths as a class and how strong we are in certain areas and really embrace those and encourage those in students who maybe don't see their strengths, excuse me. On that note, that was not planned, but please, if you can send water bottles in, um, that will keep kids in the room. And also last week we had several cases of strep and we had a whole bunch of kids out by Friday. So I think that the exposure over the holidays and everyone coming back now, um, and we're losing our voices, is just everyone, you know, getting back together and we haven't built our little immunity yet in our bubble. So if you can encourage that, um, thank you for sending masks in all the time. The kids are much better at it. I mean, they, I just, they get that it's a privilege for us all to be there together. And we love it. We love having all the kids there. So that, and then remind them please to charge their iPads. And the other thing, oh, headphones. Please, please send headphones if they have that. We worked on our um, one one word resolutions and it's one word 365 so we'll be tweeting those out and instead of writing a whole bunch of things that nobody's ever going to remember you're just picking one word to focus on for the year and so those have been great and then we're going to write our six word memoirs and those will be a kickoff for another project that we're doing so there's a lot going on as usual and the kids are fabulous and we've just seen so much growth since the beginning of the year and there's this maturity and and um, it's just exciting. It's a great, great place to be in Studio 4 with those kids. We are so thankful. Mrs. Nadu and I talked about them. You would be amazed over break. We're like, oh, we missed this. And we wonder how this one's doing. And so thank you for sharing them with us. And thank you for your grace and your patience with us too, as we continue to just kind of find better ways and, and try to adjust things that were a given in the past. Um, as always, if you have any questions, please go ahead and email us or leave us a message and we will get back to you. Have a great week. Thanks.